Side by Beverly. And Minnesota goes with Edwards. Second year player, a high flyer off the glass and in for two. Absolute straight. He's going to have a tall order trying to guard Morris, especially in that post area. It's Edwards who got it from Towns. But that's where he has the advantage with Morris trying to valuable for this young Timberwolves team. But both teams like their depth. One team is, is deep with experience, which is the Clip Clippers. And the other team is deep, very inexperienced, playoff play-in type basketball. Paul George hits that shot. He went back uh, on the floor late March. Edwards, three. What a start. What a start for Anthony. And the Clippers, and Jackson Knights nice his way in, counted for two and a foul. What a try. Blues are number three in three-point shooting. Very high percentage of three by Morris, and right down the hatch it goes. George and Morris bulldozing inside and takes it in on the reverse for two. Double team anytime out on the wing area. Towns on top. Russell on the side. They got him in a trade with Golden State. George will defend. Shot clock at one. Shot clock violation. Good defense by the Clippers. Russell's going to have to be aggressive. You talked about him struggling. He struggled down the stretch. Only 15 points, shooting 37% over the last eight ball games. To me, he's the X factor because I know what I'm going to get from Carl Anthony Towns and Edwards, who's off to that good start. Russell has to be that X factor for Minnesota. And Zubats gets it off to Batum. And now to George, a late close and a three. Another one for the Clippers. And a 10-0 Clipper run over the last three minutes of the first quarter. Minnesota so far has started three of eight. It's Edwards flying his way with a burst to the right. Rebound by Zubats. They'll sprint the other way with Jackson. And Clippers have numbers. Beverly with the bump in the circle. Beverly picks up the foul. Clippers on top by five. Paul George with a three moments ago. A quick five for L.A. So loud. You can barely hear yourself think. They sold out the same number of games in 2017, 2018, the last time the team made the postseason. But it had been nine years prior to that that this building was full and happening. I just spoke with a fan who said they remember every moment of that 2004 season, and they hope to let that memory go and build a new one tonight. Not a lot of playoff experience on this team, though, guys. That's why they're relying on Pat Beverly, who has played in 59 playoff games, starting in 48 of them. Cat and D'Angelo Russell, on the other hand, have one playoff series under their belt. But Cat said it's simple. Be ourselves. If we play our best. Nobody in this league can stop us. And as you can tell by barely being, being able to hear me, when they make a bucket, this place is rocking, you guys. You felt it the open. Thank you very much, Allie. A three right there by Beverly, who spent the last four years with the Clippers. There's a whistle. Off offensive foul on Paul George. George picks up his first. Clippers are on a 10-3 run for Coach Ty Lu over the last four minutes. Minnesota, until that three by Beverly, had missed the last five. And here goes Beverly again, who wanted a bigger contract from the Clippers. Felt, he said, disrespected, so he has to be traded. There's a defensive three, and that will be a technical foul on the Clippers. A defensive three. So now Beverly... Reggie brings a little bit of a chip on his shoulder, certainly to this uh, game tonight. Look, he knows this Clippers team very well. And <laughs> what was Coach Lou telling us before? We know he's going to try to get in our guys' heads. We know he's going to try to, you know, pull some kind of antics out here. We got just got to stay within our game plan. And if you watched the matchups with Zubats guarding Vanderbilt, he's not even worried about him offensively. That's why they picked up that defensive three seconds right there because he's just basically zoning up in the lane. Russell. Another three by Beverly. And it's caught by Zubats. There were no changes on the floor after that first timeout. Leaving is George. Knocked away by 
Carl Anthony Towns, and here comes Beverly. To Edwards. Top 20 score. That ball deflected by Batum on the shot by D'Angelo Russell. And it's Paul George the other way. Out of ball handles. A steal right there by Vanderbilt deflecting it out of bounds. And Reggie, he is a top 10 deflector in the league defensively. And you forget for the Clippers how good Nicholas Batum has been throughout his career defensively. So much length when he was playing small forward. Now he's playing power forward for the Clippers with that block shot on Russell. It's Jackson with the matchup over Carl Anthony Towns, and he trains it. That's what they do, the Clippers. That, that simple high screen and roll. They wait for the switch, and they take advantage of the mismatch. Probing with Russell. He takes it in, lost the ball. Another Minnesota turnover. They've got four. And the fast break points for the Clippers beginning to add up. That ball thrown away, deflected out of bounds. It's off Minnesota, shot clock at 15. Well, George fortunate he didn't pick up another offensive foul there on Vanderbilt. Malik Beasley's going to check in for D'Angelo Russell. Beasley, a six-year player, former Denver Nugget. Clippers have started 6 of 11. Jackson, rebound by Beasley, who just checks in. His shooting has improved since January. It was low before. Here comes Towns into Zubats and a corkscrew move. Tap in, try, no. It's picked up by Beverly. Wipe it away. Offensive, Offensive foul there by 